Hello friends. Harry Reid, former Senate Majority Leader, dies at 82. He was an accomplished amateur boxer who'd rather dance. But Harry Reid was fond of reminding his opponents that he knew how to fight, too. That skill took him far from poverty and searchlight Nevada to the pinnacle of the U.S. Senate. I don't have people saying he's the greatest speaker he's handsome he's a man about town, Reid told the New York Times in 2010 after a hard-fought re-election victory. But I don't really care. I feel very comfortable with my place in history. Reed, who died Tuesday at 82 after a four-year battle with pancreatic cancer, was one of Congress's most skilled negotiators, thriving on the behind-the-scenes wrangling that frustrated many of his predecessors. As majority leader from 2007 to 2015, he kept the Senate in Democratic hands through a volatile era of polarizing health care and economic policy, recession and war, and with a Republican and then a Democratic president. Not a showman, Reid sometimes got in his own way on the national political stage. He once called President George W. Bush a loser criticized Federal Reserve Board Chairman Alan Greenspan as a political hack and misstated the condition of ailing Democratic Senator Edward M. Kennedy, who was then dying of brain cancer. He apologized to President Barack Obama for calling him light-skinned and having no Negro dialect unless he wanted to have one. Reid made an unproven political claim he refused to detract. During the 2012 presidential election he said on the Senate floor that GOP candidate and fellow Latter-day Saint Mitt Romney had not paid taxes for a decade. Romney denied that, and fact-checkers at the time found no evidence to support Reed's claim. He was frequently underestimated. In his 2010 bid for re-election, he looked like the underdog to Tea Party favorite Sharon Angle. Ambitious Democrats, assuming his defeat, began angling for his leadership post. But Reid defeated Angle, 50% to 45%. Reid reluctantly retired rather than seek re-election in 2016 after an accident while he was exercising left him blind in one eye. His life after public office included a fellowship at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, law school and a role leading a new think tank at the school with former House Speaker John Boner. The Ohio Republican and former congressional rival remembered Reid on Tuesday as a fighter until the end. Thank you for watching friends.